some days a superhero is stretched to his limits, pushed past the breaking point, and finds himself well past his sell-by date. Uh, right. Sometimes it's all a superhero can do just to get through his day. <sighs> Hello, cuz. Rough day playing in the park? What do you mean, playing? While you were off having fun, I've been helping your dad set up your satellite dish. Huh? Red wire in the red slot, Uncle Dave. Being a techno genius is such a burden. I wish I had your easy life. Wait, what? Superheroing is not easy. Not like lying around fussing with your computers all day. Please. Your life is a cakewalk compared to mine. You couldn't handle my life even for a day. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Try me. What do you mean? Switch lives for a day? You're on. Great. I'll be you, you be me. And we'll just see who cracks first. Mm. Ah, nice dig. Welcome home, sir. <laughs> ah, this is living. Robot butler, snacks, kicking back. Now let's see what's on Wendell's lame-o to-do list. Ah, uh, <laughs> say, uh, robot butler, how do I turn my computer on again? How do you turn on your computer? Good one. <laughs> yeah. Nothing to do but watch the Quantum Vigilante Marathon all afternoon. Huh? Mommy, no! <laughs> Captain, huh? didn't you hear the call? <sighs> Wendell. Milo and I traded places, so today I'm Captain Flamingo. Live with it. Well, if you're the captain, then get a move on. There's a kid in trouble. Go, go, go! <laughs> I did it! Piece of cake. <laughs> Not without a password. Huh? Hmm. Ah, Wendell's password binder. <laughs> an eighth of an inch too far. <laughs> One, sir. <sighs> Thanks, Robo Jeeves. Ha! One eighth of an inch. Where are the brakes on this thing? Ow! Where have you been? I have three languages to learn before lunch and can't concentrate because of Tucker. A crying toddler? This is what Milo does all day? What? Who are you? New guy, in training. But don't worry. There must be something in the captain's pack to cheer Tucker up. Are you following me? I'm the sidekick. Live with it. <laughs> like I need a sidekick. Please. Let's see. Oh, whoopee cushion. Wind up chattering teeth. Rubber chicken. Man, not one funny thing in here to cheer a toddler up with. Got it. Here's something fun, a calculator. You could get ahead on your homework. Huh? Captain, do something! Maybe there's some earplugs in here. Take that, zombies! <laughs> your victory pillow and luncheon, sir. Man, Wendell's life is so easy. You know, robot, this life switching thing is kind of fun. You should try it. <laughs> huh? Give those back. That noise is making me crazy. Yeah, the noise you're supposed to be fixing. Ugh. Captain, I'm getting impatient here. I tried everything I could think of. Now it's every man for himself. <laughs> You're doing this all wrong. Huh? You haven't even asked your bird brain for advice. Bird brain? <laughs> What's that? Some kind of superpower? Yes, and your bird brain thinks you should give the kid the toys. <laughs> you did it! He stopped crying. Oh, thank you, Captain. I did it. I saved the day. 
Yeah, yeah. You saved the day. <laughs> what a thrill. I'm a superhero. Yep. You're all heroic, all right. <laughs> but I couldn't have done it without you. Huh? We make a great team. I think I'll keep Milo's life and save kids every day. What do you say, partner? Oh, no! <gasps> Will Elizabeth be stuck with super heroic, super icky Wendell? And has Milo been sidekicked out of his own life? Stay tuned. Uh-oh, Milo! <gasps> Is that Elizabeth? If only there was a way to find out what's going on anywhere in the world with this thing. May I direct you to this manual, sir? How to find out what's going on anywhere in the world with this thing. <gasps> Wendell, what huh? are you doing? I'm keeping this job, cuz. Meet Captain Flamingo, version 2. Come on, honey. Let's find a kid in trouble. Ah, here's one. Have you completely lost your mind? Yes, Milo. <gasps> I have lost my mind. And found my heart. I'm crazy in love. I don't care if the world knows. Well, I do. Help! Oh, hey! <laughs> Fret not, young friend. I and my devoted partner will rescue your wayward bobble. Your devoted partner? But, huh? But this wasn't my idea. You have to get him to stop liking me. This, this rescue uh, is dedicated to you, darling. Okay. I just need reasons for Wendell not to have a crush on you. Like, uh, like remember the time milk spewed out of your nose? And when you tripped over the world record domino setup? And when you rapped on the kitty ride? And when you tuned at the piano recital? And when you fell into that wedding cake? Ah, that was that funny. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of her now, Wendell? You make a pretty solid point, cuz. Milo, amazing! You did it! Sure, it was painful. Devastating might be the better word. But he's gone. Huh? <sighs> but after hearing those endearing stories, who could help but love Elizabeth even more? But, but she was a complete dud, a klutz, a dodo. Right, Elizabeth? Uh... I don't care. That darling little dodo is more than a sidekick to me. From now on, she's Birdbrain, fellow superhero and equal. See? I have an outfit for you and a theme song and everything. But this is my life! I've been working on my life my whole life! Tell him, Elizabeth! I... I don't know what to say. No! You're really... considering it? Hmm. Without my costume, I can't exactly ask my bird brain. Or can I? All I know is you have to get rid of Wendell. I can't handle it anymore. Can't handle it anymore. Can't That's it. it. I can't handle it anymore. Huh? What can't you handle anymore? Compared to my life, Wendell's is easy. I could handle it. But he wants me to think I can't. <clears throat> Sorry, Wendell. You'll have to take your own life back. You see, I... I... I can't handle it. You're admitting that? In public? Shh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I've been waiting to hear. Meanwhile, I've proven I can handle anything. <laughs> Here, cuz. Have your life back. Since you can't handle mine. I guess it just wasn't meant to be, dear heart. At least, not yet. What an incredible sacrifice you just made. You swallowed your pride. Ah, I, I, I had no choice. I really didn't want him stretching my suit. Hmm. Uh, Robo Jeeves, what are you doing? I thought it might be fun for us to switch lives for the day. You know, if you can handle it. <laughs> That ought to get off the Wendell stink. Milo, I was wondering, were you a teeny bit jealous when Wendell put on that ah. big show for me? Even a smidge? Huh? Why? Well, I, I can't hear you! Hmm. Thought so. 
But you know what, careful I might note that maybe Milo did hear, but was too proud to admit that maybe he was a teeny bit uncomfortable. Just a smidge. Captain Flamingo, proudly looking out for kids in a big way. <laughs>